type of merchandise uh, have you taken from these stores? Meat. In other words, uh, groceries. Stable item. I see. What was the general trend of talk? I don't know. In that area, when this stuff was going on, I mean, did you hear somebody say, make a comment about why they did this or who they should get next? No. You didn't hear nothing? I mean, you were curious, weren't you? Yeah. Wouldn't you say, well, gee, I wonder why they got Mr. So-and-so or Mr. So-and-so? Yeah, well, see, I, 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 I did say that, you know? Mm -hmm. I asked him that about uh, Schumann, you know, Mr. Schumann. Mr. Yes. Schumann. You know, I asked him about, about Mr. Schumann, you see, because he... He know all of them, you know, and like the lady that owns uh, Uptown 5 and 10, right. you know. Same way with um, Mr. Uh, oh, I wasn't too acquainted with him. Mr. Platt. Yeah. Well, in, in economy market, you know. People begged them to spare them, you know. He did. Begged them to what? Spare them. Spare them. Spare them. Oh. They didn't want him burned down. No. You get much loot from any of these stores, V? What, uh, primarily, what did you Police do? officers were standing right there. You know, right, where? State police. Hmm? I'm better friend of the school. Would that be Cullen's Market? No. You know where that's at? You mean the police stood by while you broke into a place? No, not while oh, I broke I'm in. sorry, I misunderstood you. What did you say about the police? They, they were standing guard there. Well, how did you get in? I just walked in. And the police says, just go ahead and help yeah. yourself. And so did Don. Take what you want, but don't burn. I see. Do you know where the Heron Hill supermarket is? In other uh, words, the, the, owner gave that you, the owner gave you permission prior to the police saying anything. That's in other right. words, the police didn't come out in the street and invite you into this oh, place. No, no, no. It was the owner. No. Okay. Well, what grocery store was it? That it was you that. That. That's, see, this is what I was going to ask you. Since the owner gave you permission, uh, what grocery store was it? It was Stein's. Mm -hmm. I see. And I think what you're trying to do now, you're trying to head. We do know that there was three or four stores where the owners did permit the public to take whatever they wanted after the damage had been done. Uh, but we have information, we have pictures which indicate that you were in places other than that where you weren't permitted to go in. Follow me? Yeah. Well, if we showed you pictures, we could show that they were taken at a, cert a certain time by a certain officer who would testify in court. What would you say if your picture appeared on those pictures as it does? What would you say to that? That's what I could say. In other words, you'd have to admit that they would have to admit. In other words, in essence, what you are doing, you are admitting that you are in some of these dwellings without permission, even though we have the pictures or don't have them. Of yes. course, we have told you. We know the scene we're in. Uh, is there any reason why you would not admit to these burglaries? Sure. Why? If you broke a window or kicked the door open and a uh, thousand other people ran into a store, and as y'all come out, I go in. And why should I I get busted? Why should I say, well, well I words, broke you into don't, it? You don't you want know? to fall for the original burglary offense, although you will admit that after the place was broken into or burnt down, you did partake in the taking yes. some items, which may have, yeah. might have been clothing or food or... No, I didn't take any clothes. I did not take any clothing. <clears throat> well, where were these uh, areas where you stole this food from? Which stores? After the windows were broken or burned down or the doors caved. You just described. Well, I did take some from the economy, Mark. Um, See, this is why I told you, uh, to be honest with you here, by... Uh, he we asked you twice the about the economy. About the economy, Mark. And he knew. Uh, we have certain information to that effect, you understand. And what other... Uh... Well, let, let me stop here. Let me, let, let's put it this way. Now, you know right now, you're fairly intelligent, I think. You know the fact that you do have 12 years of school. You know that we know something. Am I right? Of course. So you can tell by the trend of questioning some of the points that he's brought out, and Sam Best and myself, and we told you about pictures, and you indicated you have been in a... Now, uh, you know we know something. Uh, we're not trying to get something you didn't do. Why don't you cooperate with us? Oh, then you, you were saying now that uh, uh, I start this over the source. Oh, no, 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 no. 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 See here. That's the worst uh, thing we want to discuss here. We didn't, uh, we're not blaming on any one person. This was committed by a group. This was committed by people in general. 
No, we were not discussing All we want is the truth. In other words, if you were part of a group, you understand, that participated in some of this uh, looting and stealing of the food, whatever it was, all we want you to do is tell the truth. Do you want to tell the truth? Yeah, I'll tell the truth. Well then, how many stores, if you want to tell the truth, did you actually go into? Four. You went into Steins with permission, is that correct? That's right. All right. And the other store... Put Steins on again? Wally Avenue. Wally, Wally. that's right. That's and the other one that you were given permission to go into was on Center Avenue? Yeah. Or is that a bunch of malarkey? No, it was on Center Avenue. All right. What was the name? Uh, Slepsky's. Slepsky's? Yeah. Slepsky's. Slepsky's. And you were granted permission. That's on Center, Center Avenue. Center Avenue. All right. All right, look, before we go any further, this uh, this looting that you uh, participated in, like taking this meat and some of the small stuff, this is as far as it goes. You're not going to be prosecuted on this. Matter of fact, when we go out that door, we're going to forget about these items you've taken. This is my promise. Understand? Thank you. So, from here in, you'll know how, how to feel about us. Prior to these troubles up there, we always get information, you know, some of you will come along and say, well, gee, they're going to hit such and such a place on such and such a night now. Forthcoming, do you know of anything uh, that might happen? Uh, have you heard any rumors that they're going to hit this place, that place, or a series of places? Haven't heard anything. And then that's where we go back to your point, that uh, they just wanted to like, you know, sheep. Was it you? No, no I told you that. I said the, that they're just like sheep, and sometimes yeah. you can steer them, and they can't think for themselves. But that's what kind of people love to do. The lobes there? Yeah. You mean that they're easily led? Yes. Well then, when a person is easily led, usually it takes a leader though, you know, somebody yes. to lead them. In this case, who would be the leaders up there? Well, Ellis. Ellis, I see. And he, pu he publishes a, a monthly, some kind of a newspaper or something. What's the name of that? I don't know. It's, I don't, I, you know, I just read, you know. What, what is it, a dirt catcher? Yeah. yeah. You know of anyone else? Involved with this, other than Ellis, huh? leaders besides yeah. Ellis. Who would be his fellows that were with him? I don't, I don't. That I don't know. You don't know. I just know that he's, well, he's the big cheese. He's the big cheese. Well, generally, uh, when when a uh, disorder erupts, you know, in the hill or any place, there's usually a leader. A leader in information advanced. Well, wait a minute. Uh, we're doing civil disorder. Well, like I said, if you recall, that I was in the bar. Yeah, I first started. And it was led by a female. Female. Mm -hmm. Do you know this female? Yeah, a fit girl named Barbie. What? Is she on the track? Does she hustle? Yeah. She had broads hustle for her. Yeah. Have you seen her uh, at the halfway uh, art gallery? Yeah, I've seen her by me. Do you hear? What the common knowledge, or what do you generally hear about the, what goes on up there? What do they talk about when they talk about the art galleries? How good the dope is, how they smoke reefer up there. Oh, I don't know that fancy stuff. You, uh, are you under narcotics in any manner? No. Ever? So you, well, I had. You kick it? How long ago? Man, I, I never was uh, addicted. What'd you use, say? What did you use? Oh, heroin. Heroin. Have you ever attended any meetings there? Well, I uh, was, I had, I had the intentions on attending a meeting at the halfway art gallery. What was, uh, what you kind know? of meeting would that have been? Well, I mean, we know, you know, I mean, we know what. No, you can talk, Frank. Yeah. I mean, we, uh, no. well, we would, you know, we would see you. I so see, you're charged with the burglary of Marine's Restaurant? Yeah, I don't even know what that's Marine's said. Marine's Restaurant, I see. And also, uh, charged with the burglary of Fulton Outlaw's residence on yeah. Wyandotte Street. I see. And I don't know nothing about that. I see. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm on the level. Okay. You, All need, right. you need a little help on this? On that? Yeah. Yeah. Enough said. Yeah. No, I'm serious. This will be kept on strictest confidence. Well, I mean, but I believe me when I tell you this. I, I, think, you're, I think you're hedging a little while. You understand. Uh, What's the purpose of going down here? To what's meeting, what's discussed down here is what we're, we're, we're trying to determine here. Do you understand? 
What's the general nature of what's discussed? Are you taught anything? Are you told anything? Are you advised by anybody to do anything? Well, no. Now, say I would want to get this a hold of this magazine or this newspaper that's printed. I couldn't just go up and buy one or something. No. I mean, is it a... How would I go about purchasing it? Say I'm a colored fellow, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I would go up and I would want, uh, say, this magazine or newspaper, whatever the case may be. Now, how would I go about purchasing one of these? Well, you see somebody that bees in it, you know. In other words, you'd have access to this newspaper, whereas if you were a white man, naturally, you couldn't get it. Do you have any, uh, any reasons to believe that there might be some communists that hang out in this place or frequent this place or uh, maybe tutor or try to influence some of these young colored boys and girls that you were talking about? Well, could uh, Gee, you're not sure. That's a possibility. I'm not sure. You ever see any uh, other pictures on the walls of anybody other than Americans, the American flag? Well, I didn't see, well yeah, I mean, they had folks, you know, they said that uh, they were discussing the matter of Hitler. Who was telling you about it? Well, it was just a discussion in front of the halfway art gallery. It's a winning Tyrone was telling me. Tyrone? Is there anything else that you could tell us about the Halfway Art Gallery? Because indirectly, there's a lot of people who are going to be affected uh, if something else develops I mean, uh, in, the, in the line of a disturbance. Uh, is there anything else that uh, you could add that maybe we should know or have some idea about? Anything that's going on that you'd like us to know? In view of the fact that we treat you fairly? And this will be kept strictly confidential between us. It will Never leave the room. Well, I mean, why would you? I wouldn't care. You know? No, we're not a lot of narrow-minded friends that be going. Well, see, this is what. See, this is what the. This is. This is the predicament we're in here today. You understand? There's a lot of narrow-minded people on both sides, but I'm saying this uh, in order to uh, alleviate a situation or to have ease the tension. What would you suggest? I mean, what? Just you're on the street now. You're close to this. A situation, this problem, what would you suggest? You can make a step. Like that police officer that busted me yesterday. Yes. It's a perfect example, right? Do you do you get somebody to smuggle him in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can make a purchase there. Yeah. And I know narcotics will close anything. Narcotics will close down the church, I think, if it's being faster, right? Almost. I see. That's your way in. Do you feel that uh, there is going to be more trouble? I know there is. Do you think it's going to be worse than what we had here last April? I don't know. No. I couldn't say. I mean, it's going to be as far as, as long as that art gallery is still standing. But knowing how you feel about this particular uh, case here, especially the narcotics end of it, would you be uh, willing to go along and be uh, uh, part of uh, an undercover investigative team? In other words, to be uh, a counter-espionage type thing. I make you a deal, you make me one deal. You squash stuff for me and I'll get the art gallery squashed. Well, you understand we've been, uh, we just don't squash things because we, have, we don't have that in our power here. You understand? Well, if I, uh, we'll see what happens here. You don't have the detectives take you back up. Or are you going to take your food with you and me? Yeah. Take it, take it all up with you. And I'll take you back up there. And I'll talk to the detectives who work on this case. That was Bailey and Grayson, right? No, no. Well, well, they got you later. Yeah, we'll see. Now, Bailey, there's no kind of way in the world Bailey or Grayson to, uh, to get in our gallery. They know. I know. Oh, no, no, we don't know that. Everybody knows him. But it would be better if we already got someone who has already been accepted by this sure. group, rather than bringing in someone who is relatively new, who they don't trust or don't even know that well. Not that you'd have to testify at a later date, but to assist us in uh, maybe uh, closing this place down. Truck said the pro problem, trouble in the hill was right up at his place. A lot of. Yeah, uh, we are going. Yeah, the 
the art gallery. He says, well, the boys are going up there. He thinks they're selling dope up there. We'll turn that over if you want to one of the other squads. If you want that checked out further. He has no rumors concerning any forthcoming uh, troubles other than uh, general rumors up there all the time that they're going to hit again. They're going to hit, but he doesn't know where, why, or when. He doesn't appear to be one that's involved in this too much. He doesn't bleed too much in it. He says, of course, he goes along with the rest of the crowd, you know. But uh, do you want us to uh, convey this information well, to somebody? Uh, I don't think that's anything new that they're screwing around with junk at the head. Yeah, right that's now. right. You knew, you knew this. I guess we all knew this was going on. Well, if uh, narcotics doesn't know that, then they oughtn't to be in the job they're in. That's rather well known. Okay, that's... We didn't get nothing big on them outside of... Uh, outside of those pork chops. <laughs> pork chops. <laughs> okay. Yeah.